part two. Now, children, moving to the next page. Look at this picture very, very carefully. The first question: What flower is this? This lovely little girl is holding of some flowers in her hand. What flower is it? And the next question is: Where are the flowers? Where are the flowers? Now. Let me explain this question to you. Can you see this girl is holding a bunch of flowers in her hand? Okay. So when flowers are arranged in a bunch like this, it's called a bouquet. What is it called? It is called a bouquet. Now, you must have seen when you go for some party or for some wedding or for some function, many times people give bouquets over there. Okay, so when flowers are beautifully arranged all together, now over here there are only roses, right? But many times the bouquets have got different different flowers. They have roses, they have orchids, they have some daisies, they have lot of other flowers. And when they all these flowers are arranged nicely together and they look very beautiful, that is called a bouquet. Okay, children. Now moving to the next page. Look at this page, this picture carefully. First question: Where can you see marigolds in this book? Now, children, you have the book with you. Okay, I want you to open the book. I want you to find the picture of marigold, the flower marigold, and I want you to show that picture to the person who is assisting you. I want you to find this page in your book and show it to the person who is assisting you. Okay. Next question: What do we do with garlands? What do we do with garlands? Now, again, let me explain. Now, children, do you know what garlands are? Okay. So. when uh, when uh, you know when we have some puja in the house or when we have some good occasion you get a garland and you put it on uh, the photo of your god or you hang it on the door yes can you see in this picture where these two men are sitting down there are all marigold flowers and on top there are garlands hanging okay so a garland is used when you are doing puja to put it on the photo frame of a god or put it on a on a idol of some god okay sometimes when you are welcoming some chief guest or something you make that person wear a garland okay so that is what a garland is now children moving to the next page look at the picture carefully first question can you name the flower in the pot can you name the flower in the pot you can see right there are some flowers and they are kept in a pot so name that flower what color are they what is the color of the flowers that are there in the pot okay next question why do we keep plants in a pot why do we keep plants in a pot children uh we keep plants in a pot because see if you keep the plant if you keep these flowers outside like that uh so they are not going to stay for long but in a pot if you keep some water and then you keep the plants or these lovely flowers they are going to last longer yes they will not dry they will not wilt they will not die okay so that is why we keep plants in a pot so that we can keep some water in the pot and then keep this plant in the pot where do we keep the pots where do we keep the pots now again sometimes we need to keep certain plants in the sun so we have to keep it in a place where it's going to get lot of sunlight and sometimes we need to keep certain plants away from the sun so you have to either keep them in the house or in uh, in a place where there is shade and there's not too much of sunlight okay 